What's up everybody, Joe Vegan back with another recipe that's sure to get your rocks off. That dang ol' Akai bowl, man. If you like what you see in this video and you like to eat healthy and cruelty free, then don't hesitate to smash that subscribe button. Now before I go any further, it's not called Akai. It's Acai. When you say Akai, you sound like people that put an S at the end of Facebook. Anyway, let's begin. Now this recipe here is crazy easy to make. We'll start off with some Acai here, some frozen Acai. You can get this at most grocery stores. This one in particular came in a pack of four. That's four breakfasts that I get to eat, so you won't find me complaining. Next, we'll add some strawberries, about two-thirds a cup of strawberries. Then some frozen banana. We'll do a whole frozen banana there. You can see I've diced it up into little slices there. It makes it easier to blend. And a cup of almond milk. Don't forget a hefty couple scoops of peanut butter. Now let's blend this puppy up. Whirlwind! Now that should just about do it. Now we could serve and eat this as is, but what would be the fun in that? Let's pour this right here into the bowl there. Very nice. We've got some sliced bananas here. Go ahead and sprinkle those around. This recipe is a little banana crazy. That's nice. All right, we'll add some granola to the top of this. Maybe a handful of blueberries to spice this up a little bit. Get back in there. And then we'll drizzle some of this bee-free honey on top of that. If you're not trying to save the bees, you can get the heck out of here. So why are bees so important? I'm glad you asked. So, the honeybee is the world's most important pollinator. Our food supply somewhat depends on these bees. Now, do you know what also depends on bees? Bees, their honey. They eat the honey that they produce. You might be saying, oh well, Hank next door, he keeps bees and, and they're perfectly fine and healthy. And you may be right. What beekeepers will do a lot of times is leave just enough honey left over for the bees for the winter time so that they can still survive. Another practice is that they'll use sugar uh, or sugar water, sugar syrup to uh, feed the bees as a replacement for honey. And there's been some arguments whether or not these practices are safe or actually good for the bees. But ultimately, if you're concerned about the welfare of bees, then I'm gonna research where your honey's coming from. You wanna check in with beekeepers, make sure they actually care about the welfare of the bees. Uh, when you're at the grocery store, try to look for raw organic honey or just don't buy honey at all. This bee-free honey I just tried out tastes just like it. It's delicious. Not that expensive either. Anyway, let's get back to it. Well, here you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a delicious acai bowl. I can't wait to dig in. This is one of my favorite breakfasts. Thanks for watching this video. There'll be plenty more to come. Please subscribe so you get the new updates every time they come out. And happy eating.